Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. There is immense conference pride in the Big Ten. No conference I can think of has more games where they play for trophies, whether it's Paul Bunyan's axe, a little brown jug, an old oaken bucket. Somebody's always playing for something, but most of all, they're playing for pride. A great matchup coming in the Big Ten. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Nebraska will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Northwestern's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Freeman gets seven yards on the play. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Wildcats always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Makes it out to about the 39. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Carlton gains about a yard with a short completion. Hicks can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That, that makes, makes it, it second, second and eight. eight. 
Second and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Wildcats running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 30. Fires that quickly incomplete. Was the intended receiver on the way? That brings us third and ten. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Thompson is the punter. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. The Cornhuskers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Taken down in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Northwestern's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Lost the ball. Fumble. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he just got drilled. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle around the 29-yard line. That's a D3 on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 29. Quick throw. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's into the open field. Inside the 30. The 10. What a play. Brought down inside the 5. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. The short yardage defense here. 
He'll bring him down around the three-yard line. We played one. Still no score. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a check tight ball game. Check curls, check curls. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Here go. Touchdown, Nebraska. the PAT. A five-play, 73-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. May from the two. Tackle at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 40. This is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Taken down right around the 42-yard line. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Williams, the return man. He drops it. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for return man is of the utmost importance. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nebraska is up by a touchdown. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Hey, go. Check Mike. Check Mike. Check Mike. 46. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike. 46. Check Mike. 46. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Freeman is back deep to return. They'll bring him down at the 41. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. They'll drop him for a loss.
third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And down he goes at the 48. Nebraska is going to use their first time out of the half here. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Williams takes it to 21. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nebraska is up seven. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Ball is loose. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Got a man open, and he can't pull it in. Johnson says his intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. it out maybe to the 26 yard line a oh, really a defensive battle going on right now so far Kirk. well the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job i think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan i think uh, the offensive coordinator take a few chances be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play so the offense comes out after their last drive had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble so much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Nebraska is up a score. He's going to try and scramble. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Now he's 
scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 14-0. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. May from the eight. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. So we've played two quarters. The Cornhuskers lead 14-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We have a two-score game at the break. No surprise so far in terms of what the scoreboard says, but maybe a little surprising for some of the players on this team who, who sort of relish in that underdog role and said, going to bring this team to their knees. You're going to talk like that. you got to walk that aisle, baby. you got to walk that aisle. Uh, you better back it up. And right now, they're the team that's been brought to their knees. And they better stand up a lot because it's been, it's been a bad first half, especially when you're that confident. And when you start chirping a little bit, I, I think that you put the other team on notice, the team that's favored. Usually, usually you like to keep that bottle up inside. But they did the chirping. But right now, their game's got to step it up big time if they want to try and pull this upset because they've dug themselves a pretty good hole. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Hall takes it at the four. He's taken down at the 26. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Six yard line. Second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out around the 25 yard line. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third and 12. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. And he's level at the 18-yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Thompson awaits the snap. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 50, second down. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Yeah. 
Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a gain of four. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. And they make the stop right around the 30. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle at the 17-yard line. First down. He tackles him for a loss. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Brown takes a handoff. And they hit him in the backfield. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He steps out at about the 11. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and they tack on three points. Western to kick. He'll take it from the two. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tailback of about seven on the option play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Run, 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 run. A little misdirection. Nice run to the outside. Bring him down right around the 38-yard line. That's good for gaining two yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38. He fights forward to about the 40. Anticipating pass here. Oh. 
gains his way to the 39-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 37-yard line, and that'll bring this third quarter to a close. 14-3, Cornhusker. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Brought down at the 36. Let's go. That makes it 37. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. Nicholson on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Here go. He's tackled at the 24. Oh, that was a big conversion. You could just see the other team's offense itching to get back on the field. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 12-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Play 13 of the current drive. He scrambled. And he is drilled at the nine yard line. Call it a three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Ball inside the ten yard line. It's third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Let's go. Motion, motion, motion. Tackled for a loss. That makes it fourth and twelve. Northwestern's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and he's got it. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Boomer. Sooners ready to go in Norman. Here's a hotly contested battle. The mean green are on top, 3-0. In other games, let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. And for Houston, they hope to continue their winning ways. The Cougars lead 7-0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Wildcats have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle made at the 28. Hey, 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 hey. 
And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That makes it third and three. Just under two to go in the game. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Big stop by the defense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. Williams picks up about seven yards on the run. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tries to get around the corner. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Makes it out to about the 19. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Hits him hard at the two. Nebraska is about to extend the lead to three scores. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. going to do it. Our final score in this one, 17-3, Cornhusker. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.